How you doing everybody? How you doing today? Hope you're doing friggin' awesome. Okay, what are we doing? We're doing a video from Lad Bible TV. Tom Holland and Zendaya argue over the internet's biggest debates agree to disagree. All right, everybody, why are we doing it? Because I do a variety poll once a week over on my Patreon page. This is one that was suggested and voted on and won. So here we are. We're going to be checking it out. And if you love variety of content, music, and all kinds of fun stuff, and just want to hang out with me, be sure to mash the subscribe button. Join the team. Let's go. I like American football. I just don't understand why it's called football. Because they don't Ooh. use their feet. Yeah, the it big should debate. be causally different. Football and soccer. Ball. Whatever you want to call it. Throw but ball. you don't kick Throw it. Ball. You do kick it. Yeah, once. But once. Yeah. Once, yeah. Oh, that's such a big debate. We like like a face off. We're not I'm gonna pause right away real quick. Uh Tom is from somewhere in the UK, I think, right? And Zendaya is from the US, I think. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, no, we're supposed to be a team, right? <laughs> or is that I hope we agree on everything. Okay. Okay. They're such a cute couple. Are they still a couple? Ooh, Ooh pineapple on pizza. Uh, I don't understand why people get so scared of pineapple mm -hmm. on pizza. No, that's unnatural. Although pineapple pizza is called Hawaiian pizza, it was actually invented in Canada. Yeah, Ooh. no. Little general knowledge for you. <laughs> Thank you. It was, but I like tip. I would never normally order it, but if someone presented okay. to me pineapple pizza on set and I was hungry. So you strongly agree with it? Well, I'll, agree? I'll go here, I'll go here. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's like, a bit better, you okay. Acting like you just... I love it. Love it. Like, I can't remember <laughs> the last time I had pineapple on pizza, pizza, to be ever. fair. <laughs> that okay. is true, yeah. All right, I comment down below for each of these questions. I want to know what the general population of my YouTube community out there, whether you, what you think on each of these topics. So for me, pineapple on pizza, I'm a slight disagree not a strongly disagree i don't like it i find the juice the freaking pineapple juice goes into the tomato sauce and then it's all you can taste and I'm like ugh, no no i don't i don't like it so i'm a disagree not a strong disagree i'm okay with it my wife loves it she gets it every time but i'm just a slight disagree comment down below let me know what you guys are i've never in my life ordered a pineapple pizza i don't okay. even think i've eaten like, I now don't think I've even had a piece of, with pineapple on it. I thought you were going to say a piece of pineapple. I was like, that <laughs> is bull****. <laughs> no, I love pineapple, but I don't oh, like it on okay. pizza. Oh, There you Say go. That. Next one before we have a fight. Yeah. Oh my god. Going to cause them to break up? Better than soccer. Three. American football is better than soccer. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I disagree too. Yeah. I, I don't think, I mean... I, I like American football. I just okay, let's hear what American football is very dangerous. Why it's yeah. called football. Because they don't use their feet. I just don't understand why it's called football. <laughs> yeah, it should be causally different, I, maybe. Throw ball. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever Throw ball. you want to no, call no, it. No, no, no. You don't kick it. <laughs> you do kick it. Yeah, once. But once. Yeah. <laughs> That's I like American football debate. when I can respect the athleticism and the strategic aspects of the sport. Right, right. But football is the greatest sport of all time. I mean, it is it is the world sport. And, and that's the thing, you know? I've never sat, don't hate me now, I've never sat down and watched an actual soccer game or football game, like football slash soccer game. I watched an American football game, and but I've never actually sat and watched a uh, football soccer game. Like, I, don't, I want to call it soccer. I'm just so used to calling it soccer over the side of the world. But anyways, um, but I have to say, though, it seems like on a global scale, obviously soccer just blows football away because football is only big in America, right? Um, but it's like the biggest sport in America. So either way, um, I find more, I would get more enjoyment out of, well, I can't, I can't, I can't really say because if I haven't actually sat and watched a soccer game, I'd like to play football more than soccer, um, but I, yeah, if I had to sit and watch, I'd probably want to watch a football game, just saying. But fo you know what I mean, American football, oh my God, it's so confusing. You know, we went to the Ballon d'Or the other day and we met Messi and it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Look at him. And we met Mbappe, I actually asked Mbappe, I said, hey, nice to meet you. He was really friendly. I said, mate, you have to come to Tottenham. And he just burst out laughing. <laughs> Impossible. I don't yeah. really know what any of that means. Kind of went over my head, sure. too. <laughs> American food is better than British food. Three. I wouldn't know. I don't really, I don't know. Yeah, I I'm with her on this. I'll do it for you. Having y'all's foods. 
I think that, you know, I like the food we got, but I don't know if it's yeah. like, like we do American food. What is that what like? What is American food? What though? is American like food? Like hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> hot dog. American chocolate Oh, it's got to be British I've never chocolate. Really, I don't really Trust me. Know the oh, it's tough. But like, not yeah, enough to like, really world, like. Well, you're some here. Ooh. Jaffa cakes. Can't go wrong with a Jaffa cake. What's a Jaffa cake? Oh, that is really good. Well, you can't go wrong with a Jaffa cake. Jaffa cake? <laughs> Would you like one? It's uh, like an orange. No. Ow. <laughs> so it's chocolate with a bit of orange? No. <laughs> Turn it off very quick. Chocolate and orange is good to go together. Some of them chocolate, um, what are they called? You guys might know what I'm talking about. It's like, it's all chocolate, but it's in the shape of an orange and it's, you can take it out in peels. It's an orange chocolate and it's orange flavored chocolate. I usually, my wife usually gets one like once every Christmas. But, um, yeah, okay. I, I, I wouldn't be able to compare. I never had it before. I don't like orange flavored things. <laughs> she don't like orange flavored things. I actually don't. <laughs> Darnell's <Orange>. face. <laughs> Darnell knew. I don't do orange flavored things. Try it though. It's not orange flavored. It's actually got orange in it. Yeah, orange chocolate. Not for me. <laughs> She's... Try it, try it, try it. She's going to try it? Try it. Mm -mm. It's, it's double tasty. That, that don't smell right. Smell it. Smell it! Just smell give it, it, give it, it in my mouth. Give it a smell. I can smell it because it's in my mouth. <laughs> it doesn't smell very good. You haven't got to the orange bit yet, though. You're, oh, that's going to be the worst. The middle. No, 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 she's not having none of it. She's not, not game style. at all. <laughs> this is not my vibe. <laughs> it's like if you can make something that you don't want, <laughs> make <laughs> how would make this. <laughs> Ooh, really? Okay. okay. I'll got, respect it's, that. It's got orange filling? Okay, so what would you say would be your American What's the equivalent? Inside? What's the inside of this? Orange jelly. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Absolutely Can not. Can I take these, like last time? Would you like mine? Sure. Okay. And he loves them. London. Never had one of those before. London well, is the best city in the world. Well, I've never been there, so I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> I think that London is a beautiful place. Yes. And okay. I love it here. Right. Um, but there's also other beautiful places in the world. Oh, look at the look he has. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually going to go with agree because I haven't been to all the cities yeah. in the world. Well, there and, you, you go. Know, lots of places have assets that London doesn't have. Like you oh, go to Barcelona, he's being you fair have about beach, it. you know? Yeah. Um, like, I've only... Oh, man, I haven't been anywhere. Where have I been? Like Toronto, Jamaica, and Florida. That's it. That's all I've ever traveled anywhere. So, you know, I haven't even left North America. So, yeah, okay. Well, I would be no good for this kind of question. But London looks beautiful based on what I see in the movies and everything, you know. Would I say it's the most beautiful? No, I can't say that from what I've seen in the, in Hollywood, Hollywood films. I just, because it looks amazing and it's unique and interesting in every way. But, I mean, there's some elaborate, crazy-ass cities out there. I don't know. And that's it, so maybe it's just Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, trying to sound like I'm really cultured. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, really cultured. Uh, uh, Madrid is also in Spain. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> this hasn't been anywhere. Um, no, I love London. London is my home. I've grown up here. Whenever right. I come back, it feels like I'm a part of the city. Mm. It's a great city, great okay. food, lovely people. Can you tell that he's English? <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. from this interview, can you tell? Yeah, I think it's a... If you're showing the dad your favorite place in London, where you think they're going? I can't tell you that because then people will go there and try and find oh, it. Oh, right, <laughs> true, true. Oh, it's the best Spider-Man. Oh, before the answer, Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. Oh, let me think, Tom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strongly agree. Well, maybe agree. Maybe just agree. I agree with that statement. I would strongly agree. I'll agree with that statement. Um, some of the other Spider-Mans were great too, but I don't know. I actually do like Tom Holland best of all of them. He's got that quirkiness, that fun. He's just fun and quirky. He doesn't come across as nerdy, and I know the original Spider-Man was crazy nerdy back in the 60s when they first came out with him. But the more modern takes on Spider-Man, when he was still a bit of a geek in school, you know, not one of the popular kids by any means, but he was also kind of cool, quirky, and fun. And I think Tom does a great, great, great job with that. I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite Spider-Man out of all the ones that were in the films. All right, let's go. Let's go.
I'm not getting in trouble. Yeah, I'm Ooh. not getting in trouble. I'm leaving, I'm leaving it right there. Part of me wanted to just flip the table. <laughs> but I was worried the legs might bang Ooh. your feet. Um, just just right there. Just leave well, it we're going to keep it right in the middle. Yeah. It's not for us to decide. Tell us Tom, best qualities of Spider-Man. Best qualities of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> best qualities of, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, best qualities of Spider-Man. Um, I would say... Handsome. <laughs> I would say, um, I mean, there's a lot of great things, I think, that make you Spider-Man. I think one of them is that you actually love being Spider-Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you yeah. embrace it so much. I think anyone who's ever seen him, you know, deal with kids, especially when he's in the out, the, the whole get up, you know, the suit, it's really special to watch, you know. Oh, that's the important. Accent, that's important. Does the web thing, because I was like, can you shoot a web? And he's like... I've used all my web cartridges getting here, you know, it's, it's really, really <laughs> nice. sweet, you know. Um, so that, wow. I would also say that you have the annoying capability of doing everything very well. Thank you. Ooh, um, okay. Thank you. I don't know if anybody ever saw a living battle. I'm still feeling the uh, effects of that. What? Hurt. He told me that he was just going to, we were just going to keep it chill, and then there was rain. Uh, the rain came in quite late, though. There was rain oh, and there was okay. a wardrobe change, so I didn't see that coming. But it's I fine. didn't come to play. I thought we were, you know, <laughs> I thought we were working together, but it's whatever. Um, he has this annoying capability of being able to do everything really well. So it's like when you're you. when you're watching him flip and then land and then fight and then do all these things, you know, you're you're great at it and you do it with such oh. ease. He does a lot of his own things, right, on the film. Yeah, I'm sure it's like some of the more extreme stunts he probably hands off to somebody else. They'll probably make him do that um, to a stunt man. But yeah, I can definitely see him as often as possible, especially when he gotta like wear the suit but take off the mask, fighting with no mask on. And yeah, he's probably the one doing all the flips and stuff. He seems very athletic and in shape, right? That's what's good about him. Yeah, no, don't need to be uh, using any movie magic with him. Cheers. Cheers. Well, some nice things to say. I like it when you have like a gangster come on. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a very different vibe today. What's it like when you interview that gangster, though? <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Oh, they interviewed a gangster. gangsters. Like it. One guy called me a gangster, so I stuck a gun in his mouth and educated him that I weren't a gangster. And uh, I said, look, I'm a businessman and my business is crime. Someone said to me, you know, do you want to come on an armed robbery? I went, yeah, all right. I'm only sort of like 16, 17. I gotta go watch that video. Oh my God, shout out to the LAD Bible TV or LAD Bible TV for, I gotta go watch that. that is, that's got me intrigued right now. All right, everybody. Well, that was fun. That was a fun trip to see actually how they interact with each other. We know they're a beautiful couple, right? I think they're a couple in it for now. I apologize. As far as I understood, they're dating at least, you know, uh, in the Hollywood scene. And they get along so well. They're always smiling. At least that's the front they put on. So as long as they're happy, you know, I'm happy. They're, it seems like they're a pretty cute couple. And they get along. And they answer a lot of questions. Now, a lot of questions were UK related, so I couldn't relate to some of them. But either way... Pretty freaking awesome. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Do you want some more variety content like this? Let me know what one down below in the comments. It's up to you guys as well. You can guide my journey here on YouTube. Peace and love, everybody. Peace, peace, peace. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.